Center here on a Friday, June or July, I should say, 10th, yeah, 2015. Don't go back to June. We don't Sorry, want to man. start the, the Jays getting mixed we, yeah, up. July, we want to get through summer. We don't want to go backwards. That's good point. Chris, <laughs> is there any way we can do it? It feels like temperature right around 100 degrees for the warmest part of the afternoon. Luckily, we will expect some scattered showers and thunderstorms cooling off a few areas there, but still looking at that heat index or what it feels like 97 there at the 6 o'clock hour as you come home from work and start to enjoy that weekend. And looking ahead towards the weekend and that heat index around 103 for the warmest part of Saturday. Sunday easily could see a heat index around 105 degrees. So on Sunday and into Monday, certainly try to take breaks if you got to be outside. Check on kids and make sure they're hydrating. Hey, there's 1230. So after you grab a bite to eat, some showers and thunderstorms starting to develop with that daytime heating, then becoming more widespread by the afternoon. Still isolated in nature. Rain chances today at about 30 percent going through the afternoon and then getting into about six to seven o'clock most of that starts to fade away because all this is driven by the heating of the day and as we lose the heating of the day most of these start to wind down and we'll see mostly clear skies again tonight beautiful start though a little hazy conditions nice and quiet on the basin bridge i-10 heading towards baton rouge no issues there and you can see the sunshine in the upper left hand corner of i-10 louisiana avenue as we're seeing a few clouds but overall a mostly sunny sky here to start in the hub city taking a look at your weather story throughout your friday hot and muggy conditions once again. Well, we do see some better rain chances as they'll be scattered in nature later this afternoon, and then they'll go down for the weekend as we turn drier and hotter. A few minutes, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying it out here. I, I was tired of being a pavilion. I wanted to be out here with St. Martinville. <laughs> Oh, we got some great weather out here right now. I tell you, the dew points have really brought those humidity levels down, and we got some helpers out here, a young meteorologist in training. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie. She's a she's a little shy for the camera right now, but temperatures right now will fall down into the lower 50s tonight. Crisp morning for tomorrow and then another beautiful day set for Acadiana as we'll see temperatures climbing back into the mid 70s with a partly cloudy sky. You can't ask for much more, Chuck and Darla. Beautiful weather. The humidity levels are down, but the one thing I love about Acadiana is the culture, the people and saw you girls out there. They were line dancing earlier, enjoying the time, but when are you going to invite me and teach me some line dancing? We're going to do that? All right, well, beautiful weather right now. We're seeing temperatures in the upper 60s, lower 70s. They will fall down to a crisp 50. That's relatively cool for this time of year. Under 60s, but again, St. Martinville, can't ask for much more than this, I'm telling you. If you have time, we've still got about a half an hour and 45 minutes left. Get on down here, and maybe you, I could even use you in the weather. All right, for now, let's head back to Chuck and Darla. Any plants. Chris Cozart is all over it this morning. And he's got another steamy forecast. Chris, good morning. Just sweating, just thinking about that forecast already. It's going to be another toasty one, especially by Sunday. We're looking at highs possibly near 94 to 95. So some really hot weather heading towards Acadiana. And Weather Center, here's meteorologist Chris Cozart. And welcome back to Meet Your Neighbor, TGIF. It's almost time for the weekend. Let's take a look at your weather stories. We head into your Friday afternoon. Hot and oppressive conditions. It's certainly pretty brutal during my break. Uh, you break a sweat almost the instant you step out the car door. It's starting in the mid-70s on this Wednesday morning. Alexandria, good morning to you. 74, you folks in Opelousas, rise and shine at 74 as well. And welcome back, Acadiana, to Paspa 2. Thank you for joining us on your Wednesday morning. And grab a cup of coffee. Let's talk about your weather headlines. Future tracks still developing some isolated showers and storms for the rest of the afternoon. Notice as we get closer to dinner time tonight, most of it starts to fade away. Not surprising as most of these storms that should develop will be driven by that daytime heating. Pretty quiet tonight, some patchy fog early Friday morning. I really don't expect that to be a big issue. And there looks to be a little more moisture for the atmosphere to work with on Friday. I did bump up those rain chances to 40%. But Wow, what a story. And the guy they call the Mustang of the KLFY Weather Department is Chris Cozart. He's standing by with a look at our weather. Zoom, zoom, Chris, zoom, zoom. Give us the forecast. Usually they call me a stud. That's what they call me. There's live Doppler 10 storm tracker radar. Everything is quiet. There is some areas of mist as you head out the door.